Hey everyone, in this video we are going to see how to import data into VT software from scratch. So this one is my new company, okay, and this one is fresh company. You can see there is no such kind of data. And this one is my CSV file which I am going to import, okay. So it covers all the major things like purchase sales, purchase return and sales return. So initially you can see the purchase as well as expenses. And the next one is sales. And this one is purchase return and sales return okay so i'm going to import all this data in vt software so you can see the context ledger net weight gross amount fine and you have to create the same file okay and after the creating file you have to save as in csv comma delimited form okay fine so i have created all the things in one you can create a separate file as per your requirement like separate file of purchase sales etc fine now let's import this file from transaction menu universal input sheet then click on csv file and select the file now you have to manually do mapping here like you have to select the date in front of date fine and same way you can also select bank statement option or general option okay so this one is part of general option okay these are the bills now you have to select the proper mapping like you have to select a date in front of date then context like th these are the primary accounts then you have to select the details then ledger uh, analysis account analysis amount weight total so your net amount would be analysis amount fine and just click ok so you can see all the transaction here now we have to select the type of transactions whether it's purchase invoice sales invoice or purchase or sales credit not fine so we have to select all the things here fine and as of now there are no primary account like suppliers and customer in my system fine so this one is purchase so i'm selecting purchase invoice and to drag it you have to select in this way just click right and click on fill down fine same way these are sales so I have to select SIN, Sales Invoice, fine, same way you can do fill down in this way. Then this one is Purchase Credit Note, so PCR is here. Then the last one is Sales Credit Note, so SCR, fine, now it's done. Now you have to, uh, you can select all the things like bank, journals, etc. from here. Now we have to create primary account as of now as I told I don't have any suppliers or customer so I have to create manually each suppliers as well as customer I have to just click here then enter the name so the first name is x1 store so this one is my supplier then let's see second one this is also my supplier Mr. Williams so just click here set up the paste the name and ok then this one is also supplier 3 then this one is also supplier ok now this one is my customer so I have to create the same you have to just select on that particular name it will auto fetch whether it's supplier or customer on the base of type ok so this one is also my customer ok now everything seems good all the primary account has been selected properly now this one is details so you can change details if you require fine this one is my gross amount VAT amount analysis amount same way you can also change VAT amount here if you want to make any kind of changes in amounts and analysis amount you can do it easily okay now the main thing is analysis account so you have to select the proper ledgers here like this one is purchase so group is cost of sales and purchases then rents are under expenses then telephone under the expenses okay then this one is also purchase cost of sales then purchase then this one is sales income sales you can also fill down okay in this way now this one is purchase return so i am going to select the same purchase account okay and in case of sales return i am going to select the sales account now everything seems okay okay now 
after doing all the things you should just click on post so there are nine transactions and just click on ok so you can see here all the transaction has been post successfully and our supplier also created our customers are also created and you can see the balances inside the particular suppliers and customers same way you can modify any kind of transactions from here okay as per your requirement fine so this one is also a good process to book transaction promptly you can import the transaction purchase sales credit note journals bank entries etc in vt software fine so you have to use a csv file again that would be far better option like you have to enter all the data in excel and you can uh, import in csv okay so this one is my trial balance you can see the balances from here okay everything seems correct okay all the pnl as well as balance sheet items same way let me show you the profit and loss account so you can see the sales less purchase less expense and this one is net loss okay so in this way we can import the transactions in vt software so this is for today thanks for watching kindly like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you